So for this enclosure setup, uh, we're going to be building a enclosure out of these like mini helmet displays or baseball displays. I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. They're fairly priced. I mean, five bucks for about this small. And uh, this is like a medium to a large for 10 bucks. Not a bad price at all for uh, what you get out of them. I'll show you guys kind of what you're gonna be looking at when you have the final result there. That's one of the smaller ones I made for my bee baggins. Uh, pretty much all you gotta do really is just get some vent holes on the top and on the sides and you're good to go. They make really cool little uh, enclosures. I also have my P. Cambridge in one of those. So we're gonna dive right into this project. Um, I'll see you guys in a sec. Today we are going to upgrade my Brachypelma homori, the Mexican Red Knees enclosure. Uh, this was actually the first tarantula that I ever bought when I first got into the hobby. So this is kind of like a real special one to me. Hey, what's going on everybody? I just want to clarify real quick. The Hemori actually wasn't my first tarantula. I actually got Freya, my Brachypelma albopelosum first. I got the Hemori actually the day after I picked up Freya. So yeah, I just want to clarify things real quick. So let's get back to the video. Um, I got my Brachypelma Hemori when it was a teeny, teeny, tiny little sling. Just gonna check the attitude, see how we're doing today. As normal, always in a good mood. I never have any problems. I absolutely adore this guy. This is one of my favorite um, tarantulas in the hobby. Let's see if we can't coax it. Six and a half hours later. Uh, there we go. So yes, this is my Brachypelma homori. Um, absolutely love this little guy. One of my favorite tarantulas in my collection. Uh, I've had about for six months now. I'll throw in a picture of when I first got him or her. She was a teeny, teeny, tiny little sling. Looks like she wants to go out for a little bit of a walk right now, which is totally fine. So the rehousing is going to be pretty interesting. Actually, I'm going to show you guys what I do for kind of my juvenile um, upgrade rehousings before I move them into that final enclosure phase. We're going to try to get her back into this little temporary. There we go. So we're gonna get this project going. Uh, I'm gonna start by drilling some vent holes on the top and then I'm gonna throw some on the sides there and then we'll start the build from there.
now this girl is all ready to go and jump into her new enclosure. I'm pretty excited. This has been a rehousing I've been wanting to get to for a while. I've been just caught up with things, so I haven't been able to get around to it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try to put her in here. And there you go, lady. No, no, no. We're going the wrong way. Hmm. Apparently she wants to hang out. She's not getting enough camera time. There we go. Yeah, you got the hang of it, kinda, sorta. <laughs> here, we gotta get you going in the right direction here, come on. Nope, 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 nope. and hang out, I guess, today. So there you have it. That was a fun little project. Uh, I enjoyed it. I think it came out really well. She's gonna have a lot more room in there. She's gonna be a lot happier. I mean, compared to her old enclosure, this little Stairlight uh, container I was using for quite some time now. Guys, these are fine. I use these whenever I get like new species, maybe like an unexpected species or something like that. I'll put them in one of these just because they're cheap, they're quick, and I usually have a few on hand. Just drill some holes in the side, make sure they have ventilation on the top, you know? Um, but like I said, yeah, I've been wanting to give her an upgrade for quite some time and I'm really happy with how this turned out. So thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it in the future, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, also thumbs it up, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, don't forget, I upload every Monday.